Hey guys, just a quick unboxing of a new product from Re. Um, they sent me this uh, to take a look at. Um, it's a game controller for Android. Um, it's uh, set up like a uh, Xbox controller. Uh, I, I, I cheated a little bit, gave myself a head start on opening this because it's one of those boxes that really creates suction against the lower box and it takes forever to get it open, but it's a good thing. It'll ship well. Um, you've got your instruction booklet, which is in English, has lots of pictures, tells you what you need to know. Your top plastic cover, of course. A uh, USB cable, uh, micro on one side and full USB on the other. This is for charging. This has a built-in battery. It also comes with a clip for your smartphone so that you can clip the phone to the controller and use it as a little screen. It's great. It's very convenient. works really well. And of course the controller itself, which as I said is set up with the offset uh, analog sticks like an Xbox controller. The sticks are responsive. I've actually played with this. Um, the um, I like the little nubs on the um, analog stick. Some people like that, some people don't. I like it because it gives me a, a real short grip, especially in racing games. The D-pad is pretty much as good as any D-pad on any third-party controller you're going to find. None of them are great, but this one's pretty good. The buttons themselves are pretty responsive. The advantage of this guy is that it has not just transport controls here for Android, and of course your Android control buttons, but it's also got a little trackpad here, which is nice because a lot of the games that you download for Android, especially if you're sideloading them onto a shield or something like that, are not going to be fully gamepad control, uh, compatible. They're going to want touch controls for um, the menus and for navigating around in the front end. So it's nice that this has a built-in trackpad. It's like having a mouse built into the uh, controller itself. You can also use it to navigate you know, your general menus up front, your home page and things like that that are really more accustomed to touch than um, a, uh, an infrared controller like on, those, on the cheap Android boxes. It's really convenient to have either a controller with a mouse function or an actual mouse or air mouse. So this can take the place of an air mouse or a, um, a wireless USB mouse. Um, it, it hooks up Bluetooth. Uh, the pairing button is on the back right here. Um, it paired immediately with my um, NVIDIA Shield and also with my um, R1 HD uh, smartphone. And uh, it feels good in your hand. It's light, but it's not badly, but it's not poorly made. It feels well built. The seams are nice and solid. It's not like you've got, you're not going to scratch your fingers on the on the seams like with some of these cheaply built controllers. This one's actually well put together. Ree's a pretty good company. They've been making peripherals for a long time, and this this uh, this shot at a game controller is, uh, I think, pretty much on the money. There, I mean, obviously the D-pad, I think, is always a complaint. Could always be better. Um, if the buttons were backlit, that would be cool. But beyond that. Um, for what you pay for the controller, it's really worth it. It's a nice piece of gear for the money, and I would definitely recommend it. All right, guys, uh, see you on the next one. Thanks.